Hey guys, this is Blue One once again, but this time we're doing something very, very different. As a matter of fact, it's so different that I'm, I'm really not sure exactly what I'm going to call it yet. But what I'm working on is something absolutely fantastic, so uh, prepare to be pleased with the results anyways. Um, at least I hope you will. This world is just a plain 1.10 world. It's got an um, amazing seed. I can actually probably provide that later on if anybody wants it. But you've got these massive natural underground, well, like mid-mountain caverns. I blocked up this little slot here so that, we've, well, you can't see anything. But this is like really, really big inside, okay? So it's absolutely huge. And there's just this, this place is full of them. Like there's just everywhere. There's these caves that just go under the mountains. Sometimes they got grass under them like this one over here. And it looks really nice, you know? And that one over there. Anyway, so today... Today, what we're doing, we're going to be getting tired, really tired, actually. I've made many attempts at building a checkerboard, um, and I don't just mean like just building a checkerboard, because since when did I make videos of me building stuff? Uh, you know, that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I might do that later on. This is a plugin I've been working on. This is a very simple plugin, but it is... It is a very unique plugin. It's actually the only one out there right now because the only other Checkers plugin that's ever been made was in like Minecraft 1.5.3. So, so currently this is the only Checkers plugin in the world, guys, and you have a right to be scared because it's not working well right now. <laughs> this was a, a uh, one of my first attempts at testing the code. I had written a lot of code before I did any testing, and I was rather pleased with the results. The... Um, as you can see, the snow here contrasts nicely with the wool, but the snow was not actually part of the checkerboard. It only placed, and still only places, these black spots. So you can have the rest of them be any block that you feel like, but they're still protected. Like, if it's the actual checkerboard, you can't actually break things, so that's nice. The pieces are configurable, the data and the material. Uh, so, as you can see here, it didn't put the pieces on all of the dots and it's not supposed to anyway but it didn't it just didn't work quite as I had planned so I did a few more tests and I got this to work so actually this well my mouse is kind of skipping around right now uh, it has been actually for a while there we go it's a smooth spot kinda anyway so I got this part to work here um, where you could reset the board and it would place all the dark and the light pieces in their proper places and it was protected, although I've now moved the checkerboard to up here, which is where the video started and we're back to nothing. Okay, so basically you can see that you can't break anything here. I am opt, I can like, I, I'm, I can't opt myself because I'm already opt, but I can like de-opt myself there and you can see how that tabbed it right in, so that means that I am indeed opt. And since I can do... Um, there we go, TP myself around, then I am definitely op. This is pretty close to vanilla. There's no plugins in here except for the ones that I'm building right now. And one of them I can't show you, but it's a really big thing. So that'll be absolutely amazing if I ever get that finished. But for now, uh, you can see a little test that I did here where this piece is no longer where it should be. Notice I have all of these pieces are protected as well. And we'll just reload here and we'll do C space uh, reset and resets checkerboard I didn't have to place anything and now if we do C dark I am now as the dark team and first off let's actually okay I gotta deselect that um, set to 189 as a light piece so now when I select this one you can see I can't move anywhere but except for right here, but this is also a jump, so it didn't place it right next to it. Placed it on the other side like it's supposed to. And when you select it, bingo, it works exactly as it should. And yes, the block will instantly disappear even when you're not in creative. I'm just in creative so I can fly if I fall off because I've done that. But the problem I'm having is if I... Uh, I need to work on that one apparently. I just not tested that. I hadn't tested that prior to this. Um, we'll set this to error. I know what this plug, this um, video is. This video is of me in my daily life trying to debug and build a plugin. So th this won't work though if I do C dark and do right here. 
poof, it's still there. And that's just because I hard coded in that it was, oh wait, whoa. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, anyways. Anyway, so yeah, I hard coded in that it was supposed to remove the one towards the southwest because that's the one I was testing at the moment and I was just going around the if statement. So let's get right into the code and see what this mess looks like. And that's exactly what it is, is a mess. This is the game class and it's huge. So first off up here, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. We'll just call it stuff. It's rather difficult to explain without explaining the entire plugin, which I don't feel like doing because as you can see over here, we've got eight classes and this one has almost 200 lines of code. So right here we've got choose turn method, switch turn method, which I, I don't have that done yet, so that's why I've got this note to self that looks real ugly and stands out and gets your attention. Uh, we've got get team, it returns the team that the player is in, which will be useful for scoreboards by the way. Uh, so this could be a, a really excellent thing to have in your hub. Contains is a boolean, set player is dark, set player is light, dark team is empty is a boolean, light team is empty, has as dark, light has as light are both booleans. Dark has piece selected, it checks for um, whether the dark team has selected something, light as well. Select as dark piece, select as light piece, get selected dark piece, get selected light piece, unselect dark piece, unselect light piece. All this stuff, check for win, force win, declare win, declare draw, jump, which is what I was just working on, and this right here is the code that we have caught up to. This is on death and on leave some events, and this is capture light and capture dark, they'll be put in there somewhere. But jump right now, from is the block that you click clicked on first, that's the selected block, all right, the, um, this block. When we select this to jump over to here, this is from, this is to, only this is glass when that happens. So uh, let's just set this up again. Ah, let's just do C reset. That's so much easier. Okay. So when we do C dark, this is from, and this is to. Okay, see that? That's to. This is to. This is from. The red mushroom tells you that you've got it selected. The light team has a little brown mushroom. That's also configurable. So unselect it, select it, unselect it. This is to, this is from. This is to. So when you jump from dot get relative block face up sets type to air, and from itself is set to air. So this block right here, this one, that is set to air. All right. As soon as you make the jump, it's set to air. The mushroom is first, though, to get rid of it. So it's just whatever marker you've got on top of it, it gets rid of that, too. From is set to air, and then two is set to the dark material and the dark data, so that if you have, for instance, a wither skeleton skull as the dark piece, which I might actually set up, and that would look really neat, um, then it'll work for that. From dot get relative block face southwest set type to air. This one, this is southwest. See, that's south, that's west. You can see up here that this says south, and over here it says west. So this is southwest, this block face right here. And it sets that to air. And it's not supposed to. It's supposed to set whatever it jumped over to air. So we need to get mm, the two relative to the from and figure out what was between them. So let's do this. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, first off, let's, let's, like, give us some room. Okay, so we've set that. Now we have to get rid of the middle piece. So let's do from, no, let's do if from dot get x is, should we test if it's greater? Yeah, it's, it's going to be either greater than or less than. It can't be equal to because you can't jump straight forward. So if it's greater than 2.getx, um, what are we going to do? If from, from is greater than 2, is it greater than 2? Where's the x? Is this, this is negative x. Okay, so from is greater than 2. <laughs> well, that's nice. It's greater than 2. So if from is greater than 2, If from Z is greater than 2, 
get z is also greater than from dot oh no two two what am i thinking dot get z then oh, i've got an extra space i'm just a tiny bit picky about that from dot get z is also greater than two dot get z which i think it is right here so this is uh see this is positive z so from is less than actually so let's just skip this part for now and do an else if statement else if from dot get z is less than two dot get z then if this is the case we know it went southwest right is that right we know that it went southwest okay so now we can do block dot get southwest or whatever um, from dot get relative block uh, yeah block face dot southwest Duh, oh no over here dot set type to material dot air on, there you go <laughs> Uh, oh wait, wait, if it's x, if z is bigger, though, what happens then? Okay, if z is, this is positive z, so if from is, like, over here, is it really, is it really northwest, the opposite direction? Not quite opposite, I suppose. It should be, like, northeast for southwest, but, you know, northwest... Okay, if the z is greater, I'm having a hard time thinking right now because it's getting pretty late. This is, uh, where is it? Man, positive z, this is negative x, positive z, negative z. So if, where were we? Okay, <laughs> if from x is greater than 2x, okay, so that makes sense. This would be, okay, if from is bigger than 2 on z and x so this guy right here if he's bigger that means he's got to be at the positive positive right positive positive okay positive positive so that's where he's from so that means he is jumping north um west yes northwest i thought so so then right here we'll do from dot get relative block face dot northwest dot set type to material dot air very nice and let's just get rid of you because we don't need or want you anymore oh that was there we go export next finish yes let's reload this okay see dark <laughs> Let's see if this works, huh? Oh, it works! It works! It works! This is genius! Okay, okay, so now that that right there was a breakthrough. I've been working on that for like 20 minutes now. It was a little while. Oh, now it's like 18 minutes, I suppose. It was around, uh, what was that, like, uh, uh, I don't know how long that was. Probably five minutes before I started the video maybe a little bit longer, and I thought, you know what, I should let everybody see my kind of misery, and maybe talking about it will help me to get it better, and I think it did. So, we have Southwest and Northwest covered, now let's do the rest of them. So, that would be right here now, right? The other two directions are inside of here. So, else if from dot get x is less than 2.getx then uh, we'll do an if statement and we'll do an else if statement there we go I'll get those out of the way if from dot get z which is what we're working with now right because we did the x's now we're doing the z's from dot get z is greater than 2.getz. We'll just copy the top code here for these two. If from.getz is less than 
to.getz, which I suppose we wouldn't have to do that. We could just do else, but I'm doing if anyway, because I like else if statements better than just else statements. If from.getz is greater than to.getz, but x is less. So if it's a negative x and the positive z, if it's bigger on the z, okay, so if it's bigger on the z, Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Okay, if if x is less than So if 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 we're jumping this guy, okay? And this this is our piece. If x on this guy is is less this is negative x. So if this is less on x than that, which it is, of course, positive x. If it's less than that, and z on from is less. So if both are less, then you're going southeast. I hope. I hope you're going southeast. So if both are less, then you're going southeast. Uh, hold on. I got a phone call to take. Okay, guys, I'm back. That was just my dad calling from some place over by the river. He's having, um, he's having a singing, watch him call it, some music and some food and stuff like that with some friends, with my mom and my sister. So that is why I'm making this recording right now because I'm by myself at the house. Southeast. So that's where we're going, huh? Uh, see, what are we doing exactly? From dot get relative block. Oh yeah, I remember block face dot southeast oh there it is we're gonna set type to material dot air which means that this one is southwest <laughs> I didn't even have to try to figure that out I hope this actually works like if I screwed this up well I guess I can just switch them then can't I oh that's not southwest that's northeast Because we already have northwest and southwest. Now we got northeast and southeast. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So jump now should work. Next, finish, yes. Okay, let's reload. We do see dark now. And let's jump whatever we feel like jumping. Alright, so if we like. Which one should we do? Should we do. Oh, two moves. <laughs> Uh, only two. I'm going to have to do multiple jumps later. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that sucks. I'll do that later on. I don't care right now. Right now, I've got better things to do, like try to actually make something work for once. Okay, so we won't do this one because we already know that that works. We'll do this one. Oh, it worked. Oh, man. Okay, so apparently on jump, um, after everything else, we have to go and clean the board clear is it clear oh hold on board dot clean wow okay so then it'll clean the board so let's check that out one more time and not import anything let's export this whole thing instead and we'll reload because we like that okay let's just reset this because that's a mess okay so now we'll select you and we'll jump you. Oh, and it cleared it all. That's just peachy. I really do feel kind of good about this. I really do. Like, I feel really good. Okay, so that's finished. Is, is it actually finished? No, it's not because you already have a piece selected. No, it's not my turn anymore. So what do we do? When we jump, Capture Dark has to add to... Okay, somewhere, somewhere there's a list of, there's like, there's an integer. Okay, light piece is captured and dark piece is captured. Dark piece is captured has to go plus plus, right? So, captured dark, um, dark pieces captured plus plus, just like that. Okay, yeah, okay. So now we'll just copy and paste this into the light. And change it from dark to light, obviously, because we're like that. Light piece is captured plus plus. When one of them reaches 12, then the game wins. So let's now do 
oh man, hold on. We're going to put it in capture. No, should we put it in capture? Should we put it in jump? Should we put it in select? Let's not do it here. This is already full. We've got too much stuff in here. Okay, so this. Okay, okay, yeah, we already got the unselecting. Thank you. Get rid of that note. Um, okay, so all of this right here, it, it, I, I need to add some stuff. I forgot what that, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting tired. I need to add some things to this, like, um, what's that called? Yeah, what are these called? These things. Um, what does this do? On select handles the selection, unselection, and capture. Handles the selection, unselection, and, oh, unselection, selection, and capture of an M of light pieces. Okay. So now if we mouse over this, it tells us. Handles the selection, unselection, and capture of light pieces. And that's all. That's all I wanted. That's it. We're done. Now I know what it does. Okay, so let me think. Um, are we done? We need to end the turn now. So, um, main.pieces.isLight. You can only select your own pieces. Okay, all of this stuff. This is my problem right here. You can only, not that one, this one. No, not that one. Where is it? When you try to select one, you already have one selected. You already have a piece selected. There it is. Okay. Okay. This unselects the dark piece. This is the unselection of something. Okay. This, though... We need to make it so when we jump, main.game.unselectDarkPiece, board.clean, when you jump. Okay, so let's go to game. Let's go to here, and we've already got board.clean, so let's just get rid of that now. Main.game.unselectDarkPiece. Nothing is any more selected, and now let's switch teams. So let's work on that switch teams method here. Switch turn method. I keep calling turns teams and vice versa, and I don't even know why. Okay, so, switch turn. If, uh, light turn. I don't even know why I have, oh, oh. Okay, yeah, I got it now. Never mind. Don't ask, please. If light turn, then light turn equals false. Uh, dark Turn equals true. Else, if dark turn, then dark turn equals false. Light turn equals true. That's all. Was that, was it really that easy? Well, duh, make it so it switches. That is what it's called. Uh, if light turn, okay, so that just switches the team, the turns, it just makes it the other person's turn, okay, that's right, choose turn is done at the beginning, I think, I think that's all good, get team, contains, okay, all that stuff, now, after the jump, switch, Oops. So yeah, switch turn. Okay. Yeah, it's just a keyword is all. I just needed to make sure I had things right. Switch turn. Okay. Uh, so let's now check this out and see if we can't just get rid of that error all the way. Oh, that's not really an error. It's just something that I don't like and that's not supposed to be that way. So reset. Let's do C dark. And let's place one of you guys right here. We're going to have to cancel the placement of things on it so that people can't cheat and just put more pieces on the board. But that's for another day. Or another time, anyway.
Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Can I just, like... What in the world just happened? <laughs> I, I don't even know what just happened. That was so weird. Okay, let's just do that one more time. Okay. See, dark. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's reload, because I can't just leave. See, dark. Boom. Hold on, let's unselect you first. Let's get rid of you after unselecting you. And let's put you here. Let's see if I can just, like, jump a couple times, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so why can I jump twice? And then nothing. Is my turn then over? Okay, let's put in the dark selection. Okay, hold on. Where's if it's your turn? Where's if it's your turn? If, if turn, else. Um, here's one of those else statements I don't like using. P dot send message. Uh, chat color dot. Oh wow. Gold. Um, your turn is now over. Shouldn't be gold, it should be red, but let's leave it at gold for now. We can always change the colors later. Colors are nothing to change. Reload. C dark. C reset. Let's change you, my young fellow, to air. And let's pull us this little thing out here, and we'll have one there. Okay, so it's going to jump and land there, which means jumping there. So let's now select there okay okay oh my turn is now over why did i have two turns what what's up with that like if i jump something is it still my turn but i jumped it the second time and it was no longer my turn so weird okay um let's go to game capture dark capture light switch turn is right there Wait. Oh, hold on. Switch turn. Maybe. It wouldn't switch twice, would it? Hmm. If it's light turn, then it's no more and dark turn is. If it's dark turn instead, then it's no more and light turn is. That's just the way it goes. So, let's do... We unselected... Oh, boy. Hold on. Let's unselect a light piece, too, before we forget. Main.game.un...oh...dot...unselect light piece. Oh. We're in game. Let's just unselect light piece. We don't need to use main.game and call it from all the way over there. Okay. <sighs> Switches the turns. Unselects everything. Cleans the board. Which just gets rid of all the mushrooms and stained glass, of course. It doesn't get rid of any of the, any of the uh, pieces. That is... Uh, what command is that? That's C... Reset? No. Clear? Yeah, clear. Clear gets rid of everything. Okay, so now we're on just this nice clean board. C, reset. Peachy. C, dark. C, leave. Uh, reload. Let's fix C leave shortly, huh? C dark. Okay, this is where I can go. Okay, I don't like that at all. I don't like it. It oh. It used it like a jump, huh? Hmm. So I think what we should do is we should actually make it. So that it only jumps on stained glass and it 
just moves on glass or something like that. I don't know. You know what, though? This recording is now one half of one hour long, and I'm about to end it because I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long and get you guys bored of it. So uh, we're just going to end this video real short like this. Uh, not not exactly like a short video or anything, but without a whole lot of talking or anything like that to end it. And here I am just making a bunch of talking before I end it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you if you feel like it, because I got like a lot of really cool stuff on my channel. Uh, tell your friends about it. I do make plugin tutorials, and I do take requests. So please leave some requests. If you don't make requests, then I probably won't make tutorials, unless I just for some reason feel like making a tutorial. But I will be making more videos of this kind, showing my code and what I do with it, and how I try to go around fi go about fixing problems. If you leave a like, and if you hit me up in the comments, tell me what you'd like to see, what plugins of mine you'd like to see the inner workings of, etc., etc. You guys have a great day, and keep those comments coming.